It sent our attention now to the Niger Delta, where the federal government is seeking partnership with local communities to protect the nation's oil and gas infrastructure. The National Security Advisor, Nuhu Rabadu, made the call when he led other top officials in the sector and service chiefs in an inspection tour of oil pipelines and facilities in River State. Senior correspondent Uchi Okuru reports. The National Security Advisor, Minister of State for Petroleum, Minister of Defense, the Group Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, and the Chiefs of Defense and Air Staff are some of the dignitaries on this high-powered government delegation. They arrived at the Air Force Base in Port Harcourt and proceeded to Okwa West local government area of Abia State. Their mission was to witness firsthand the extent of pipeline vandalism and to assess the performance of the contractor handling security for these critical national assets. Along the route of a pipeline in Owaza community in Abia State, several illegal connections were spotted. The same evidence of criminal activity was seen at Oil Mining Lease 11 in a local government area of River State where the wellhead was vandalized. The government says these acts of sabotage have caused huge economic losses for the country and life-threatening environmental damage to the host communities. We have seen it unbelievable where so much money is spent to build an infrastructure for the common good of all. Individuals will come in and destroy it. The current government hopes to pick up from where past administrations stopped in the fight against oil theft and artisanal refining of crude. Much of the strategies have depended on anti-vandalism operations of the military and other security agencies. But in taking stock of progress made so far, attention is shifting to the role of community members in ending the menace. Please, all of us, let's come to together and say enough is enough. The National Security Advisor and his team say they'll report their findings to President Bola Tinubu, who, according to them, is committed to protecting and maximizing the potentials of the country's oil and gas resources. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Eche.